Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to Episode 2 of Direwolf20's server play series, Season 7 of Forgecraft 1. I can't believe it's already Season 7 of Forgecraft, that's insanity. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, so we're hanging out with, uh, I know Manalian's here, Neptune, Tema, uh, who else is on TeamSpeak? Quetzi, Way of Time, but I think he's leaving. I'm out exploring and looking for some cool stuff. I'd like to automate ore doubling in a similar way that I did it last season because it was really easy to do. Um, but the problem was that we were, had access to one of those nifty gadgets um, from factorization because I want to make that robotic arm thing. Yes. And in order to do that, though, I'm going to need a logic matrix programmer. Blank logic matrix doesn't seem too bad. Have you been to the nether yet, Quetzi? Oh, I stuck my head in, but that's it. Don't suppose you have any blaze powder. No, no, I didn't really go much past. I got got as far as Manalian's little uh, cubby hole on, on the other side of the nether pool, and that was it. If oh, you you've been in the Manalian? desert. There should be the farmcraft things. I haven't gone any farther than Q has. Oh, okay. I set up a pump that's getting me lava, and that's it. Nice. I'm curious. This mod is pretty cool, the one that gives, like, the floating islands thing. I think there's chests up yep. here, right? There should be. As far as I know, the chests are underneath the spawners. Yeah, be prepared for a fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it a Taurus <laughs> Yeah, I cracked one open and got four witches. Creeper spawners are the most fun. What might have been smart of me... ...would be to actually bring some resources with me here. Usually a good idea. Yeah, I forgot my pick broke and I didn't replace it. Hey, uh, guess what I found. <laughs> guess what I found, guys. Logic major programmer? Uh, no, I found a blaze spawner. <laughs> Perfect! Because I need some blaze rods too. Ooh, and what a logic matrix programmer. Nobody panic, but Jeez. I just found one. Nice. Fire hacks. <laughs> Seriously, and melon seeds, and knowledge fragments. So and yes, stones. At this point, we find out that the guy's actually left himself in op opt mode and putting stuff out of any eye. Not at all, dude, but that's totally the things that I need to, like, do what I need to do. So I've got a long way down here. Um, so I think my plan at this point should be to slowly but surely make my way down. And we'll be back in a minute when I get back to the workshop because I think... I know I need a crystallizer. How crazy would that be to make? That's just string and a stick, so that's not too bad. I might be able to pull off making this thing. All I need is some dark iron. Dark iron, anybody? I've got some. Nice. Would you mind bringing it to the workshop when you get a chance? Uh, I need the cord. Oh, wait. Uh, I think I already have those cords. Was it near spawn or whatever? Yeah. All right. I might have to jump here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, I shouldn't have to jump. Oh, I was holding shift. I swear I was. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like I have a run. But hey, the workshop's looking nice. Is that a door on the back there? Uh, not yet. Okay. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute after I run back and get my stuff back. All right, guys, we're back, and I've done a little bit of mining here. And now that I've gotten this done, I want to make a slag furnace because I need some silver and... Oh, we've already got a slag furnace here. Neptune's got a slag furnace going. Good job, slag. Furnace maker Neptune. Oh, good, good. there's gunpowder here, too. Cool. I was like, hey, all of a sudden there's a slag furnace. Um, so I think I need to make, if I'm not mistaken, um, definitely need a few things. Let's see. Let me jump, dump out all my inventory here. That'll do. So first things first, I need a crystallizer. 
and that'll need a stick, a string, and a cauldron. So I should have gotten some iron ingots around here somewhere. Really swap this. There they are. Cool. And some string. Looks By like the way, I, like... if you didn't know... What's that? Sorry. If you didn't notice, we've got Ender Storage back. I did notice. I'm very pleased about that. Oh, you know what I definitely need is some clay. Ooh, look at all this fanciness up here. I'm definitely liking how this place is looking. This is going to be quite a tricky thing. What's that, clay? I don't think so. I might have just found some already. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I did. Alright guys, I have some clay to harvest. I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, so first off we need a furnace heater. That's going to require quite a bit of lead. Um, luckily you get four insulated coils from this, so I'm going to need two sets. And lead. And then I should be able to get a furnace heater. Cool. And that goes right next to the crystallizer. Now you said it's an initial investment of heat and it doesn't need it anymore. I believe that's the case. So my end goal here is to get that nifty little arm. So for that we need a blank logic matrix. So that's a block of redstone with aqua regia. And that needs a blaze powder and a fire charge. So, and a fire charge being gunpowder, coal, and blaze powder. So, that's why I wanted the blaze rods. Let's see if I can... I don't know if blaze rods will go into this thing. If not, I'll just have to convert them one for one. Or one for two, that is. Yeah, no blaze rod. Okay. So then we need some gunpowder... Coal. So aqua regia, netherrack powder, fire charge. And then sulfuric acid I need. That'll need a water bottle. Just need a little bit of sand. That should not be hard to find. I definitely like that clear glass stuff, by the way. The circle's looking. What's Circly. that? How are the circles? You mean the roof? Uh, yes. Looks good. To me at least, who has no creative design eye whatsoever. Okay, so that, that... I'm going to need another gunpowder, I think, unfortunately. But I've got the aqua regia I need now. The last thing I need... just want to make sure I don't have any more gunpowder laying around. No, I don't. Is a battery, and for that I need another sulfuric acid. So let me go hunt a creeper. All right, guys, we're back. So I should have another piece of coal in here, and we can do this and this and that. Cool, sulfuric acid, and then it's a simple matter of getting some iron 
and some lead. So let's see. And by simple matter, I mean, you know, somewhat simple. Ah, good. All right, back in a minute after I smelt these four pieces of lead. All right, guys, I've got a fully charged battery. So now just drop it next to the furnace heater and it should be ready to run. So I'm gonna drop a block of redstone in here. You know what I might do? I'm gonna put a couple blocks of redstone in. Just cause. This works, right? Did I do this right, Neptune? Yeah. I'll get five of those logic matrix two hickeys. All right, so the downside is we have to come back in about 15 minutes or so. Is that how long that takes to make? I think that's what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the dark iron ore in here. Maybe I'll get a little bit lucky with it. Um, and in the process, I'm going to get some more iron too because I need to make the socket. All right, guys, we're back. And I just wanted to point out that I have everything I need to make a robotic arm except for these things. They've got a little time to cook still. We'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. And I think Let's see, where's that logic matrix programmer? I think I'm ready to make this thing. You, you, and you gets me the controller. And then, hooray, robotic arm. Nice. Now all I need is a redstone pulse. Redstone clock, where are you at? There you are. Needs more smooth stone, got it. Hooray! So, what do you think of the workshop? Now that I've got this working, let me take a look. In fact, let me also throw a bunch of ores in here to be processed. Give me one sec. Tin, 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 copper, copper, copper. That looks pretty good. Well, I have a lot of ores to do. <laughs> um, you know what I should make is a hopper, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's get some more iron in there. I don't want to break my wooden crank. I'll set up that automation thing too. Ooh, I like the chandelier. Fancy. Are those the Thalmcraft lights? Uh, yep. They nice. won't do much in an eternal day, but yeah. It looks cool, though. I like it. See? This is why I gave you creative mode to build the workshop. I couldn't come up with anything this <laughs> cool. I wouldn't even know where to begin. See, I don't even know how you guys do that. Like, you're just like, yeah, I'll just put blocks down and it comes out looking cool. Like, that never works out for me. <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. not even a little bit. Not even in creative. Well, that, Diana, like, that's because you have your eyes open. They're not even looking. They're just randomly playing. No, just kidding. Like, I, <laughs> I understand, like, symmetry is important to a point. But, like, still, <laughs> I don't know what the heck you people are doing. That makes it look that cool. I don't know. I mean, I basically just um, follow Shin's building videos religiously. I don't even know who that is. Some Yogscast guy. <laughs> Maybe I should start watching more videos about how to make cool looking stuff, because I I don't know. Well I find it gets easier if you just have a nice foundation. You, now I'm gonna break everything it. that you built. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. I figured you would be. Yeah. I'll put it back if I remember where it was. One of these days I'll organize these chests. 
Considering we're only on episode two, I figure it's okay that I haven't yet. All right, so let's get a hopper. And then what I can do is hopper. Chest. And ta-da! This is all the fruits of my mining, by the way. I did a lot of mining. You did a lot of mining, or your machines did a lot of mining? It's only episode two. I don't have any machines yet. <laughs> so did port one just start or something? Yeah, we just reset. When? <clears throat> when did it reset? Uh, I think last night. Oh, wow. It really did just reset. Oh, yeah, no, we weren't kidding. There we go. I might actually, I might actually have to download the stuff to get on that one. Yeah, we're having fun so far. Except, yeah, well, I won't be able to get onto it for at least another... You can't do it tomorrow, so Wednesday. Cool. All right, yeah, so now that we've got to the point where I can at least automatically chew up my ores into, you know, dust, and I don't have to worry about being inefficient, now I can actually get to work on some machines so that people don't have to use this super slow and terrible system. I guess I have to leave that open, don't I? Um, I guess if I put a piece of glass there, it'll open, right? Hooray! Um, so, I have been playing around with the new IC2, and I'm thinking I might want to try something cool. There's new stuff that's fun and interesting. Put you away up here, I think. Oh, there's so about the kinetic converter thing? Yeah. Uh, hoppers totally work, like, this of it, yeah. Hoppers work? Yeah. Lies. Not working in my single player world. I tested extensively. So that's why I level, like, 80. That's actually not terribly high but it's not terribly low either so there's all kinds of new power generation options in ic2 and i want to try out one of the new ones which is the wind generator um and it actually generates quite a bit of eu uh the downside is it does require an item that needs to be replaced every now and then um so i'll need to create what's basically going to be like a wind power farm and i haven't tested to see if having two wind generators near each other has a detrimental effect i think the old ones work that way i don't know if the new ones do but i want to try it just because it looks cool it looks really cool actually um so let's see i'm gonna need a kinetic generator which is a bunch of iron and a generator which is a bunch of iron and a basic machine, which is a bunch of iron, and a battery, which is a little bit of tin. There we go. And some rubber, too, so I should go visit that rubber farm. And then we're also going to need a kinetic wind generator, which is a bunch of iron. And then I'm going to need rotors. There's three of them. The wood rotor, which is terrible, the iron rotor, which is good, and the carbon rotor, which, of course, requires carbon plates, and lots of them. So tons of coal. Uh, that's the best one. It'll generate the most EU. So the different tiers basically generate different amounts of EU. Uh, the iron one doesn't look too bad. It just needs a lot of iron. So like most things in IC2, there's a theme. What's that? About tons of iron. Right? There's definitely a theme about right. tons of iron. I thought I had more iron than that. But, oh well, I guess it... There's no way. What happened to all the stuff in the chest? Oh, right. It's probably in the hopper. That's correct. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I knew I had more iron than that. All right. So I will come back in a minute here once some of this processing is complete and I decide where I want this giant wind generator to be. 
All right, guys, we're back, and here's what I'm going to use. Well, I was going to use. Why is this working? Oh, that's why. Left click. That looks cool. Oh, yeah, scaffolding. That should work. At least it'll let me you know, get up there. I hope you don't mind a giant wind generator turbine thingy next to your fancy workshop, Mr. Tema. I'll live. Okay, good. Because this is where it's going. Alright, that looks pretty good. Why level 100? That's a good starting point. Um, let's see. How's my iron situation? Do I have tons of it yet? I hope so. Okay, while that's cooking still, more iron. I'm going to see how much of this I can at least get started making. So, I know we're going to need a hammer or two. And while I'm at it, you know what I didn't do yet? Is go visit that rubber tree farm. Let's go hit it up. <sighs> okay. How good a farm did Mr. Thunderdark make here? The real question is, did he build an extractor downstairs yet? Not a bad farm. All right, that looks pretty good. Oh, one more. Okay, let's go take a look in his basement here, because I think I saw that he has some crafting machines, at least. If he has an extractor, that would be cool that I could use. If not, oh well. I might have to make one. Nope, doesn't look so good. He has maybe mining cave down here? Yeah, I guess that's what that is. Alright, let's head back to the workshop and get an extractor up and running. All right, guys, first things first. Let's get ourselves. Ooh, I just got an achievement. Nice. Guess I just need two more of those. That. Should probably snag this. And I might as well get a bunch of these, because I know I'll need them eventually. So I'm being pretty adventurous, I think. Considering I'm doing IC2 in episode 2. <laughs> I just made way more tree taps than I meant to. Whoops. It's alright, it's not the end of the world, they're only wood. But I've got an extractor yeah. now. Now I had more redstone. There it is. Okay, good. So I'm thinking my machines for IC2 will be over here. So let's just throw an extractor right there. We can move it later if we need to. Um, and I can toss my resin in there. And my extractor should run on redstone. Cool. That'll at least get me going until I've got this power gen thing sorted out. All right, so that's a start. Now let's take a look at building the generator. And we're definitely going to want more copper. So the generator comes in two parts, kinetic generator and kinetic wind generator. So we're gonna need first a regular old generator, so that shouldn't be too bad. We're gonna need a little bit of tin uh, to the point where I'm not even gonna worry about processing it, I don't think. Let's 
I might be actually running low on coal already, but eh. There, so I don't waste the coal. All right, so let's get the generator going first. So I'm gonna need, I think that, and a basic machine casing. Cool, so that's one. I'm gonna need a few more of these. Okay, I am um, hollowing out the basement. What's that? I'm using a filler to hollow out the basement, so if you hear a lot of noise, that's me. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. Oh, the uh, particle effects for the filler. Pretty neat, aren't they? Hmm. I like them. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I think it's these that are for batteries, aren't they? See battery, maybe. Nice. Cool. Those are the two pieces that I need for this to work. And then the final piece I need is a rotor. Uh, now this is going to need some iron rotor blades. And that is three iron and six iron plates. So lots of iron there, unfortunately. But in the end, we're actually going to get a decent amount of power out of this thing. The only problem I haven't entirely figured out is a way to turn it on and off, but I actually kind of have an idea on that. All right, let's see what we can do with this now. Hopefully this will work out. And up the ladder we go. So two parts, kinetic wind generator and kinetic generator. There's also two parts to a couple of the other new generators. There's basically one that generates heat, and then there's like, there's one that generates EU based off of heat, and then there's, um, I think I wanted to go this way too. Let's see. Kinetic generator, kinetic wind generator. I think this is the one. Oh boy, I crashed. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back to wrap up the episode in my single player test world where I get to show you how this works because the server crashed. <laughs> uh, so I was playing around with these things and just to give you guys an idea of how the whole wind generator thing's going to work when the server comes back up, uh, you need two blocks. You need the kinetic wind generator, uh, which requires the turbine to go in there, and that thing takes damage, and it'll report to you how much health there currently is to the rotor. And then behind it is the kinetic generator, which takes the kinetic power from this guy and converts it to EU. So this thing's currently generating about 16 EU per tick. Uh, however, just like previous versions, the higher up into the world you are, the more EU you can generate. Uh, so all the way up here, for example, we've got this guy generating 36 EU per tick. Not too bad. Um, so, and of course, the different tier rotors generate different amounts. So if I were to demonstrate this with iron, it would drop down to 17 and wood drops down to eight so you know obviously the the carbon one's the best uh my plan was to use let's see where am i right now i'm around 130 so i was going to use something like an iron here that'll get me probably around 20 u per tick we'll see what happens it'll probably be a little bit lower um and then way up high we'll see what this guy looks like all the way up here yeah you can kind of see it spinning all the way up near the top of the world. 
we've got this guy generating a lot of EU, but you can't see it because I don't have an MFSU on there. There we go. 74 EU per tick. So not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so let's see. I'm actually curious. If I set time to noon, does that change anything? This was higher earlier, so I'm guessing there's like maybe some randomization to it or fluctuations. Maybe it's based on time of day. I don't really know. So it definitely does fluctuate a little bit. So I might get a little bit more, I might get a little less, but for the small amount of iron I just invested, it's not too bad. The only problem is I'm going to have to run the cabling down. So I'm wondering how much cable, you know, with all the copper cable that runs down from there, how much of a problem it's going to be with energy loss. But we'll find out next episode. For now, uh, it's time to wrap up. This is Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time to finish up the build if the wind generator is working. And if it's not, I might show you guys what heat generators look like because they look cool. Sterling generator, electric heat generator, uh, solid heat generator, sterling generator, and fluid heat generator and sterling generator. So obviously a couple nifty things to check out and uh, hopefully next episode. All right, guys, take it easy.